How do you sprout and what is the optimum angle? If you were to sprout and leave the jar, the water will accumulate and the bacteria will form, so that's not a very good thing. Well, what if you do it the opposite direction and leave it upside down like this? Well, the problem then is the sprouts will stack on top of each other and you're getting the weight of them and you'll also be blocking the airflow and air exchange. I started to test from being flat all the way up to 90 degrees and came up with this angle, approximately 30 degrees, as being the optimum angle for sprouting. You want to get all of the water to drain out. So here the threads are on the outside and the jar is straight. When it is at that angle, the water will all strain out. The other thing was having a filter. So then I made this, which was a stainless steel filter, and all the water would strain and drain out of it. So we actually put these detents in the jar so that you could hold it very easily. And it's easy to go in and out of the stand. And the stand is perfect angle. So the idea of having something that was integrated and a complete kit that looked great on the kitchen that grew the sprouts, that's the Sprouting Company jar and all the deliberate decisions that went into making this particular product.